Hey guys, and welcome to the Bind View. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, unfortunately, Taylor couldn't be here tonight because he's so sad. Um, no, no, that actually was going to be my intro if he lost, but he didn't lose. So, um, unfortunately, they won. Uh, we're going to talk about United, we're going to talk about Bayern, and we're going to talk about two cool two Manchester United next season. We're going to talk about various other managers for Bayern Munich and get Taylor's opinion. Obviously, he's him being not a Bayern fan or um, from the next, uh, the perspective of a non-Bayern fan. But yeah, big up to everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for the constant support on the channel as always. Uh, and um, I don't know why I'm wearing a jacket inside before Taylor rinses me, um, but I like this jacket, so I'm wearing it inside. So yeah, fuck it. Um, big up, Rajat. Hopefully, you'll do well, mate. Uh, and um, yeah, well, that's what I will do. Have you done well, Taylor? And uh, thank you for coming on, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there was nearly not a show, nearly, very nearly not a show, because um, uh, I can I can deal with. Uh, I mean, I, I shouldn't really be here now after that performance. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things to talk about in basically over one game. I think we've that's the only game we've had since our last one. I think not overly too sure. I will have a look just to look when we last did our show, but yeah, mm. I think you're right. Um, I'm gonna look live. We did our last show on the 12th, so on the 12th, yeah, not too long ago, it would have been eight days. So I think we may have had one game since, yeah, yeah, really. but uh, Bournemouth. Red, but uh, yeah, Bournemouth would have been the get uh, the day after, and then today's game against Coventry, which one was two two, and this one was three or four two on penalties, which realistically it shouldn't have been. Very yeah yeah, but another problem of putting games to bed, yeah, that has been the issue this season. Um, especially with a few of the games, um, okay, Liverpool in the um, the Premier League, Chelsea, Brentford. This list goes on, um, yeah. and then nearly, very nearly, got punished um, for not putting the game to bed. Which still, once again, I'm always going to say this crap. These penalty calls are are doing my nothing. I know. It, it makes me laugh, but it does my head in at the same time. Chelsea were robbed of a penalty because see, Cole yeah. Palmer's free kick was going on target, and it hit, and the guy clearly put his arm in the way, and they didn't get a pen, and then City win. Um, obviously, Chelsea didn't help themselves by not scoring their chances. They had plenty of chances to score to go two three nil up, and they didn't take it, and then City wins. United. Yes, we were throwing it up and then do our usual of not putting the game to bed. Um, their second goal was a dirty deflection where it just hits him, goes up to Rosehead and then dips into the goal. No, and I can't do nothing about it. Then the third goal, penalty, never a penalty at all. Because he's, he's bringing his, one Bissaka, he's bringing his arm in as anyone does. Like if you're like turning your arm, kind of goes up, and you're bringing it back in because mm. that's what people do. They hit his arm, and they're like pen away. Oh, okay. So another yeah. another corrupt day of officiating and refereeing again. That's two, obviously now two FA Cup games. That's that's happened, and yeah, got what I've done a one number game that's happened to United this season. It's happened plenty, plenty of times. Where the same things happen, but should never be in that position anyway. No, you're free no up, yeah. Exactly. Br brilliant goals as well. Like obviously I'll get I will give United the credit of the goals they have scored. Um McTominay doing he's I think he, I think he is top goal scorer for us this season. So I'll give him props to it because he he used to be a striker, like before he came like senior into United he, he like youth academy, he was striker. Um, so it makes sense how he can get these sort of goals because the way he runs in, great, great running, uh, 
run into the box and a great cross as well. And he just hits on the end of it. Easy peasy. Um, then the second goal scored from a corner. Who'd have thought? I'd never thought I'd see the day in my life that we scored a corner and it was slabbed of all people. Um, brilliant goal. He was unmarked and for once he actually puts it on target for us. That's for England. But for United, mm. for some reason, he just yeah. doesn't seem to get on target. Um, scores that. Brilliant. Then Bruno. Fair enough. Rashford. I don't know what Rashford was doing. He was being crap. Bruno gets the ball, whacks it, ends up going in and you think... Nice. We're so many minutes in the second half, three no up. I said before half time, I was like, if we get the second goal, we can I think we could get it. We got the second goal. I was like, all right, we should be fine. Saw three no up. And then you see the three one, you go, hmm. It's like seven like seventy one minutes, okay. We should should be fine. Yeah. Then three two. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Then I was open up in the garden. And then I hear the neighbour screaming. And I went, no. No, I've looked at the score as free. I'm like, we've done it again. We've absolutely done it again. Um, then they ended up scoring extra time, which was the middle school of offsides. Um, absolute middle schools. And then I, I said to you, I, th- I was like, no, I think that's completely zapped him from penalties. Mm. And... As you saw, Casemiro, and you, you saw, don't want to jinx it, but he's been so good on his penalties. <laughs> he is. He actually and, is good at penalties. And he's ju- he just done a Bernardo Silva. He's whacked it down the middle with no pace or anything. If you could put it down the middle, whack it. Yeah. Because then the keeper struggles a little bit. And you're like, oh, okay. Then Onana makes great save to yeah. help us. Then... Uh, Bruno, Bruno's um, scored, giving it to the keeper, like you know, like quiet boy, quiet. And then Anana, you know, he's he's getting a bit gobby, gets himself a yellow, and then the guy, sc- yeah, the, and the guy skies it. Their keeper tries to do the same, gets the other card, doesn't doesn't save it, and uh, Rasmus wins us and gets <laughs> gets us through. Should we have got through? Probably not. Well, I mean, technically, yes, because we were dominating for a yeah. lot of that game. We'll three no up. Yeah. Um, shouldn't go through in the sense of just of their comeback. Yeah, yeah. Like, it would have been nice for him to have that sort of comeback and go into the final. And we're against City, and I just can't be asked to go against City because it'll be, it'll be our last, it'll be the last game of the season for us. Because um, it's always that it's after the Premier League ends, um, and then after that game, it'll be whoever's in the Champions League final. Yeah. Um, so I, I could see it being a repeat of last season, but in a different sense of um, it'll be like the Phil Foden show probably instead of the Gundogan show. Like last time, Gundogan like single handedly won them that won them that game of scoring like forty seconds in. Whacking it top, top bins, which you're like, oh god. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can't see us if you can't put bed, games to bed with against Coventry. Against uh, you're going to be against. They're not even coming up, are they? No, the eighth, the eighth in the championship. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like poor. it's very poor. That yeah, football just, football, man. <sighs> yeah that, it does make it a great game. Like if you're not either fan, that that's a great game. Absolute great game. Obviously, for Coventry, that's a great game for United. That's shocking. Like the only disappointed team. I know Coventry will be, but they will take it out of like what we we gave it to them, sort of thing. Obviously, at this point not going through, but yeah, 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 they would be. They're more happy than we are. That's the difference. We've gone through, and we're more miserable than Coventry. Like I yeah. think that just says it all with that game and the way we've been this season. But another final, third final in two seasons. Not too, not too bad. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Then like us just going out early. Obviously, we did in the Carabao this season. We went out early, ironically against Newcastle, who we beat in the final. And then obviously Liverpool won that 
But so I, I'll take I'll take another final. It's it's nice to be in something at least, mm. and not just fighting for sixth place against what well, West Ham. Yeah, would you? Obviously, uh, you said that it's another final, which I agree with. Obviously, you know, poor performance in the fact that you let the game go and mm. it get to the point that it did get to. And if it wasn't for a toenail, um, you would have lost mm. the game. I mean, you we wouldn't be here right now because you were, yeah, no, I would not be. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I would have been. um, <laughs> one thing I would say though, do you give Ten Hag the final as manager? I don't know because. Who, 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 who would it be? That's the thing. Who would it be? There's, there, there's no one. No one would be in in the, in that time that frame much, yeah. of of getting him. Like if we sack him now, then you're looking at people who are in jobs. But it's at the end of the season. They're not going to leave their job right now. They're just going to wait out the games. So you got to look at people who are not in jobs. So you got to kind of think, you know, I know Southgate's been looked at, but he's got Euros to do, so he's not going to do it. He's not going to yeah, yeah, jump yeah. in. No, no, okay. um, we'll get into it, but Tuchel, he he said that he's not thinking of anything because he's got he's still got the yeah, rest yeah. of the Bayern games to go, Bayern so he's not yeah. thinking about it. Deserby, he's got Brighton. Um, obviously, there was talks with. Zidane, well, not talks with Zidane, but Zidane's now been eyeing up United over uh, Bayern, which I was very surprised about because I, I'm pretty sure he said he didn't want to manage in England, but now he's eyeing up United. I don't know what sort of mind, I don't know why he's changed his mind or if if he has, whether it's true or not. So I don't, I, I think they give it to him. I think they give it to Ten Hag and see what he does with it. And if he wins it, it might might save him. Might save him. Um, but if I think he's a, gone. Yeah, and I, and in your head, you want him out anyway. If I'm right by saying. Yeah, I'm just obviously I, I'm not. He's been so unfortunate with injuries. Um, but it looks fit. Maguire's come off with a groin injury. Um, so that's all of our centre backs out injured. Um. So now we have no centre backs. If it, obviously if it's long term for the next game, um, like we brought we got Mason Mount back, he's injured again. Amrabat, well he he was injured but he played, so he's not fully fit. But it's it's again sixty five injuries we've had this season, or oh, injuries illnesses, all different. We've had our starting lineup that we want twice in the whole of a season. Like I don't know what I don't know what a man can do when he doesn't have what he needs. And then like you're not getting the players you really want. Well, you kind of are, but all at the wrong prices. Like you're getting Amrabat on loan. They don't. I'm I'm glad that we didn't buy Amrabat because he's been so bad. Rasmus, we shouldn't have bought him for that much. Even though I really like Rasmus, he's 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 yeah. going to be really good for United. Um, he's get overpriced on everything. Yeah, exactly. Anthony, we could have gone so much cheaper, but board all way in, and they're like, oh shit, it's deadline. We need a player. Oh, Anthony's still there, but we're going to now have to pay. <laughs> we're basically going to have to pay them what they want. We paid them what they want. Same with Casemiro. We got him last minute. Paid Real Madrid what they wanted. Mm. All these players, we're paying what everyone wants and not what we should get them. I think the only team we didn't pay what they wanted was Chelsea for Mount, but he's been injured for most of the season. Which at Chelsea, yeah, he's hardly point. ever been injured. Which yeah, there's, definitely, got, there's definitely got to be some concerns from, there, from your perspective something. in the fact that your your recruit not recruitment but like the the um medical staff and who you know like the training you know obviously we know that Ronaldo cast out Ten Hag and everything and said that the training facilities and all of that shit was the mm. same when he was there you know as the young Ronaldo but like it, it is crazy how like 
certain players have gone there that haven't been injured in the past with their various other clubs. They go to United and then they're like injured, injured, injured. Exactly. And yeah. Um, I know you were me and you were talking yesterday, uh, obviously off camera, and you were obviously talking about um, certain people blaming the way that Ten Hag trains for the players. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so that there was obviously talk concern, well, people concerns of like his training methods. Was like, I'm sorry, I don't think any sort of training gets you injured so bloody often, like. And you've got to, you've got to take yourself. Well, you've got to blame yourself if you're coming back sooner. Yeah, the manager might want you back, but if you know you're not a hundred percent, you've got to go. Look, I'm not. I'm not there yet. I'm not. I don't think I'm ready. I know players want to play, but if if you know you're not a hundred percent, you've only got yourself to blame. At the same time, you're telling the boss that you're okay. He's gonna go All right. Oh, there you go. And it's obviously not worked. Luke Shaw, we desperately needed Luke Shaw because we have no left back. Comes back, gets injured. Yeah. All these other things. We now have no centre backs. We Was needed Mar- that You had Regulon. Sorry, I didn't interrupt. Yeah, we had Regulon on loan and then we cancelled it. We sent him back. So we're like, oh, we've got Luke Shaw back. We're, we're, we're all going to be fine on left backs. No, Luke Shaw gets yeah. injured. And now Regulon's putting out like seven plus performances on for Brentford. Typical. Um, we needed Martinez because we have no one to play out from the back. No one's good as good as he is on the ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Brain bag gets injured. All these other things. We need. We need depth in the midfield. Mason Mount. He's back injured. It's it's been constantly the same thing. I think the only person. That hasn't gone back injured is Manu and Rasmus. Yeah. I think Rasmus did have a little injury when he was on his little scoring run, but it weren't like long term. He was he missed a couple games. Manu says he's been injured from preseason. He hasn't been injured yet, and he's been playing loads. But when it comes down to the manager. The one thing I always give him praise for, and I think everyone's kind of realising, is the the minutes he gives to youngsters, giving Ganacho all the minutes he needs, giving Mainu the playtime he needs, uh, giving Kambuala the centre back, a uh, young centre back, like some games. Like he's been giving yeah. these young players game time, in which we've had the most minutes for youngsters in the Prem. By a, a lot as well, not by a little, by by a lot of minutes. So you got to give him credit for giving youth team or youngsters what what they need. But then there's the question of his subs. His subs have been so bad recently, especially. I don't know why it is, but his favorability towards Rashford is unreal. Mm. I don't know how. Yeah. I can, like, say if the whole team's having a bad performance, you go, hmm, okay. But it's, Rashford is always saved, and I don't know why. And we take off Ganacho, and a lot of times this season we're taking off Ganacho, and we start and we start conceding. Like Ganacho is one of is our, is our best attacker without without a doubt. He may not have all the numbers, but he makes stuff happen. Rashford, he just. Tries to beat a man. He may be a man, but then does nothing with it. That's literally been Rashford this whole season. Tries to yeah. beat someone, can't beat him. Like, I thought Anthony can't beat a man. But I think Anthony this season is beating a man more than Rashford has. And that's saying something. Um, and then taking Manu off. I know you may try to preserve your youngster. Make sure you don't tire him out. But we ain't got anyone good, good enough to replace Manu. Like you're gonna bring on Ericsson. Ericsson's legs are completely gone. And and or you bring on Amrabat, and Amrabat has been shocking. So some of these players you just can't take off. And it's weird because when he first joined United, his subs were were like doing bits. Like he would make a sub and they were making impacts, even if he's winning the game. They come on, they do something. 
And then ever since it's just it's all been a downhill slope mm. since then, which is which is no one really understands why why everything's been a downhill slope, whether it's tactics or what. But people have seen like the training videos, players not being able to string a pass together, like two passes. Once it gets a third pass, everyone misses it. If someone can't string a pass together, you can't blame the manager on anything that player does because he can't pass. Mm. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. but it's not hard to make a pass. If you're in a circle and you're just passing to each other, or yeah. one, like, not even a touch pass, literally just pass, pass, pass. I've done it with seven side teams and we can do it fine. Why can't professional footballers string a pass? We train as well, yeah. Exactly. Like, they pay big money to be a professional. Yeah. And they're not doing that. Yeah. So it's the sense of like, can't blame Tenog for everything, but there is some things where you're like, come on, mate. Like, you need to be able to have a sort of a couple plans, a plan to make put a game to bed, a plan of attack, so on and so forth. And it's just been a lack of everything. This season, yeah, compared to last season, where you didn't, you had the odd laps there, but we came third and won a, won a trophy, mm. which yeah, yeah. We, we've done the opposite of what we should have. We should have came sixth last season, and this season we should have won a cup and came third. That's that's how like our transition was meant to be. Because then you go, okay, hmm. then maybe next season, maybe a second and an FA Cup. You know, better trophy. Or maybe hmm. Carabao and FA Cup. You know, get a couple of trophies in, get second, get closer to pushing, you know, for the league. But no, we've gone completely backwards. And now, once again, we may have to bring someone new in and it's a completely new start. Yeah, and that's been the problem with United since Fergie left. Yeah, it's been it's been a project restart. Starts all the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it nothing's ever going to work if you don't have a manager long term. Look at Arsenal. I know Arsenal fans. A lot of Arsenal fans are cast now Arteta because yeah. he can't get it over the line. But they it's definitely done. He's he's, he's there. For a few years, fair few years now, and he's actually competing in Premier League titles, in Champions Leagues, so on and so forth. May have not won any other titles since his COVID FA Cup, but that's their problem of getting over the line. But at least they're competing, where United are competing for Europa League now instead of Champions League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I get you. Well, let's go for a little chat, man. <clears throat> Mm. Um, again, big up to Rajat, mate. Hopefully, you're doing well. Big up Jordan. Hopefully, you're doing well. Um, Bellingham, yeah, we, we could talk about we'll talk about um, Real Madrid in a minute. Um, <laughs> credit to her commentary today. What uh, performance slash comeback? Yeah, 100% for a team mm. that aren't even coming up. I agree without a doubt. Uh, we will talk about Tuchel, don't worry about that one. Um, let's talk about buying quickly before we get into. The things we need to talk about um and so on so obviously Bayern um beat uh arsenal uh and um go through to the semi-finals which we will again i'll get your opinion on in a minute but um recently uh in the league obviously the bundesliga is it's it's, it's nothing to play for you know we're we're generally playing to get to second which yay yeah, cool you know there, there's not a medal for second we know that you know the, there's not a medal for top four and all of this and all of that, you know. We we know that as English fans in us in the south, like obviously you being a Premier League fan, Man United fan, you know. There's so mm -hmm. many like, oh yeah, we're getting top four, we're getting top four. It's obviously that Arsenal thing where they're like, yeah, but we got top four, but you don't get a trophy for top four, so you can get top four where you want. Yeah, Champions exactly. League just to get slapped up in the Champions mm -hmm. League. So um, obviously we're we're second at the moment. Um, Stuttgart, they actually lost. Um, Ooh, which is very okay. interesting. Uh, they lost to Verde Boyman um, 2-1, um, which, again, interesting to see because 
we've got them coming up. Um, so it's good that they're losing points uh, in, you know, in that sense. But at the same time, you know, Bayern realistically should be, we should be smashing this league. We have, we aren't. Um, we got a good win, um, five one. We shouldn't have conceded a goal against Una Berlin. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just one of those situations where we got too comfortable in the end, and you know, Malmoy doesn't get his clean sheet. Um, and I think actually uh, on the Champions League quickly with Arsenal, Malmoy is now the goalkeeper with the most clean sheets in the Champions League history, which is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Um, obviously, Champions League wasn't around when the likes of Yashin were playing, um, so you can't still go off of that. But you know, <clears> at the end of the day, the records are there in this modern day era. Um, mm. So yeah, no, a hundred percent. But um, yeah, other than that, like I said, there's not really much to talk about. Um, we'll I'll keep continuing to do the the Bundesliga games. You know, we've got Frankfurt coming up, Stuttgart, Wolfsburg, Heidenheim, uh, not uh, not Heidenheim, Hoffenheim. Um, you know, I'll do that. I love obviously this club to death, but there generally is nothing to to play for. It's basically a training match to see what two people yeah. do. You know, we rested a hell of a lot of players in that game where we won five one. Um, if I quickly go up, uh, load up the lineup, uh, we had Mamonori in goal, Kimmich, Dyer, Kim and Jay. No Dilit, Dilit got rested. Um, Davies played, so again there wasn't um, a Mazzari or Guerrero uh, playing left back. Obviously, Davies probably would have played against Arsenal if he was available. Obviously, got the yellow card. <coughs> um, Goretzka and Pavlovich. Again, they're going to play because they're trying to, to trying to build something with those two uh, as the midfield pairing. Uh, and then Thomas Muller got um, got in there, uh, got himself two goals in there. Actually, has now scored in every single match um, match day. Now that was the that was the last one that he needed to score in match day thirty. He's never scored in match day thirty before, and he, now he's scored in absolute absolutely every single one, which is amazing. Hmm. Uh, him and obviously we know how good he is. Chupa Moting played, for instance, like he was he was switching up. Matis Tao played and got a goal, which I'm very happy with. Uh, we actually brought on Zaragoza, which is the Spanish lad that we brought over when we um we were. Uh, we brought him over because of Kingsley Conan's injury and ever since he just hasn't had game time. So, you know, again, cool. You know, he's he's doing this, doing that. I don't really care. The, the main focus is obviously on Real Madrid. Um, obviously, the reason, uh, well, it's not late because we normally do the show really late, but the reason the show is later, if you want to say, is obviously me and you were watching the El Clasico. Um, mm. Now, obviously, Ahmad has his opinion. Um <laughs> On the channel and everything, but I generally think Real Madrid are there to be get got at. I really do. I think Vinicius Junior um, is amazing. He just is amazing in general. But for me, I think he, if he has a game like that, where he's missing shots and doing this and doing that, I can definitely see buying. You know, taking care of him. And I know that's a big call. I know it's a big call. By the way, I'm not trying to act like we are bloody the best team in the world because we're not. You know, and I want my manager out. But, you know, there's him. Bellingham, uh, of course, it had to be him to go and get the last goal and get the winner and everything. Um, but I don't actually think he had the best game. He had some good good um, points in that game. Um, obviously, it's going to be overshadowed because he got the winner, of course, and he's doing his celebration and all that shit. But, um, you know, there's that. I thought their goalkeeper was dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Um, you corrected me. I think it was on the second, second yeah. goal. Um, yeah, well, he, he got that. He got that made. He can. He, he made the save what he needed, but um, he couldn't. If if he won't get blocked, then he can easily parry it somewhere mm. else, or even actually catch and handle the ball. Yeah. Um, but the the dummy did slightly put him off because the guy tried to flick it at the same yeah. time. So. It's hard for that, but the first goal, yeah, that that was shocking. The first goal, was like complete, yeah. complete miss, mistimed everything, and the ball just went straight, straight over him onto Christensen's head. Christensen's head, yeah, straight mm. into it. Um, I, I, I did say this, and obviously I said this to you off camera, um, ages ago when Real Madrid got City. <laughs> I was saying that with Courtois being out, I don't think it's going to be good, um, for them, mm. but. We'll have to wait and see. It'll be typical that Real Madrid will turn up against us. It's a big European classic. Um, you know, head to head, you know, Bayern have won so many times, Real Madrid have won so many times. Um, you know, it's it's not actually as bad as I once thought, to be quite honest. When I looked, I thought there was going to be a lot more uh, for Real Madrid, but 
Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich, head to head. Um, 12 wins for Real Madrid, 11 wins for Bayern Munich, three draws in there. Um, obviously, Real Madrid have got 14 titles, UCL titles, and we've got obviously six. Um, but the thing that we need to talk about, and that's obviously what I want to get your opinion on, is the last two times we have gone against Real Madrid, uh, the last time was in the semi final, 2017 18 season. Uh, the first game was at uh, in Germany at the Allianz Arena in Munich. Uh, they beat us 2-1 at home and then went and beat us 2-2 um, at their place. So, obviously, went through on 4-3. Uh, um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, obviously, there's that. The one before that, I'm not going to go through all of them, but the one before that, again, the first game was at home. This is a reason why I'm saying it. First game was at home. They beat us 2-1 again and then, obviously, took it back to their place and beat us 4-2. So, it seems like the last two times we have gone against them at our stadium first mm. um they have beaten us and then finished it off so you know if you had to give your prediction obviously you're not you don't have no you don't really care about either team what would you generally mm. think or i i definitely see like a like the first madrid city game um i'm seeing a lot of goals um because definitely both teams could be easily opened up Real Madrid mm. were very, even though Real Madrid only played one defender today, like one actual yeah, proper true. defender, because they had uh, Vasquez right back, um, Camavinga left back, and then Chiumeni at centre back. Um, I know Militao is kind of back; he's not fully fit, um, but he he could be fully fit by the time he is against you. Um, obviously, they'll they'll be playing like Carvajal right back, probably Ferland Mendy left back. So they're going to have like a full defensive yeah, yeah, system yeah. against you probably by that point. Um, v- uh, Vinny, as we saw today, gets past players easy. Like he's got the pace on everyone, and against Kimmich, he will absolutely abuse Kimmich. Um, you will need. I'd be surprised if you don't play like Upa Meccano. I think he's the only one that can hold off any. Okay. Which is I'm saying like it's because he's got the pace. Mm. Um he, otherwise if you have like Eric Dyer and Kimmich there, then they're 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 just getting ran ran through like no one's business. And there'll be only so much that Noy can do. It, as a great keeper he is. And if Vinny like actually turns out I know he got an assist today. But yeah, he should have like, scored. He should have scored a few goals. Like I think he could have easily got a hat trick that game against Barca. Uh, so if he half half turns up against you, I think it could be a big issue. Um, but if if Kane is the way Kane's been as well this season, and if Sane kind of does what he did against um, Arsenal, he was mm. he was doing a few good bits. Then you can definitely go on at Madrid but it's going to be that it's your problem is the midfield compared to theirs yeah it's they, they're just I don't everyone to be quite honest but yeah yeah <laughs> like ugh, another player Valverde one of the most underrated players I've seen because yep he doesn't have the stats but he just puts in the performance every single game as he always does, and he would, he would do that against Bayern, and he would make it a problem. Is so it would be the battle of the midfield, but I can see like a, I can see a three-two. Either end, either end could be a three-two, mm. but it's that it's the Bernabeu. I think you can have a problem issue. Out. I think that's. Yeah. I think you have to smash him at your place. That's that. That is exactly how I feel. I think we need to get a result. It needs to be a positive result. Um, mm. like for instance, with Arsenal, I knew that they did mm. obviously yeah. totally different different scale. They don't have European pedigree at all compared mm. to Real Madrid, of course. But I knew that they were one. You know, if we can get a two-two, or we take a loss of three-two, or whatever, mm. we can yep. get back into the game in Germany. Um, where this game, like you said, exactly, you know, if we don't get a really, really good result against um, them at home, you know, in Germany, then going to their place and, you know, I know City went to their place and scored loads of goals, but we're not City. Mm -hmm. We're not run like City. We don't have the players like City. Um, In the fact that, you know, they they got Rodri just sat there. They've got Bernardo Silva. You know what I mean? Like, of course, we've got Harry Kane, Sane, but Sane's been 
hit and miss, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lou, um, both Jamal Maziala, who obviously is behind me, and Harry Kane didn't turn up in either of those Arsenal games. Of course, Kane got the goal, but they didn't turn up in either of those Arsenal games. Um, so it's like we need them desperately to turn up uh, mm. and to show what they're about um, because yeah. I'm pretty sure Vinny's going to be up for it. Rodrigo seems to be up for every single Champions League game he plays. Um, he's absolutely ridiculous. The only thing I would say, it would be typical that Jude does turn up, but because uh, obviously Dortmund and obviously all of that shit. But the only thing I can say is I hope that they go with that striker. Um, I know that he did a brilliant dummy for Jude to get the last goal uh, in this uh, classico that's just happened, but mm. he is dreadful. He should have he should yeah. have finished that game on his own. Um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. But I think also if they do play him and they play Jude in the midfield, like I said to you, Jude's much better in the midfield. I think yeah. if he has more of the ball, he can do a lot more. Obviously, he has a. People forget that he has a lot of goals this season because he's basically playing as a false nine. Otherwise, he doesn't get those goals. He gets. A, he'll probably have more assists, but he doesn't have twenty. He's got twenty-one goals and ten assists this season, which is unreal for it because he's a midfielder. Which is unreal. Yeah. Like you're talking. You're talking Frank Lampard sort of stats. But he's been playing playing false nine, so if he gets played in midfield, I think this is where like this is where Bayern will end up capitulating because they they won't be able to get the ball. We saw Modric, I think, played really good as well um, mm. today. He was all over the place. Cruz very quiet, and Valverde he's he's always on in form no matter what what game he does. So if you have Valverde mixing up with Modric and Bellingham. It's going to be like how Messi was with Xavi and Iniesta. That's all like mm. tic playing around the midfield and slowly yeah. progressing forward to have to play through Vinny or Rodrigo. So, depending where he plays, if Ju plays, I think if he plays up front, I think you can hold him off very well. I don't think he gets too far. He may snatch a goal like he did against. Barca. Yeah. But I think you can hold him off for quite a lot. Um Kane might struggle depending on the service he gets. And that's been the big problem is his service. Yeah, yeah. I this season. The, the, even though he has that many goals already. Is this and I don't in the Champions League, he's not done overly too much in the Champions League. I know he's had a few goals um in the Champions League this season. Um, uh, seven goals for him, <clears throat> so yeah, not too many, but yeah, but he, he, he's got like he, he's still got numbers there. Um, but we don't get that service, he ain't, he, and especially if they play like get Militao back, he's exactly, gonna struggle yeah. going through Militao and Rudiger because do, Rudig, do, Rudiger yeah. stopped Harland from doing anything, exactly. That's what I was that's where I was going. I was gonna say, mm. like, I think Kane can can uh, abuse that that defense if. It's just Rudiger because, you know, if, for instance, Rudiger was to just go for Kane, then hopefully Jamal will step up. Then hopefully, you mm-hmm. know, we'll get um, Leroy Sane or whoever is going to be playing in there to step up. Um, but I do agree if they have both Eder Militao and Rudiger, you know, they're, 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 gonna, they're not Gabriel and Saliba. They're not, they have this pedigree. And I'm not trying to shit on Arsenal, generally I'm not. But mm-hmm. they have this pedigree where they have got over the line. They're about to win the um, La Liga or whatever the hell it's called now. Yeah, 11 um, so, points clear at the moment. You know, they've, they've won the Champions League. So, you know, they know what they, they can do. And obviously, um, Rudiger has played against us before. Obviously, he knows a lot of the, the players um, because obviously he's German and everything. But, it's, it's going to be an interesting one for me. Uh, I do think Bayern can do it. I always have belief in my team, um, other than against Arsenal. But um, <laughs> generally, I do think Bayern can do it. But I do agree with you in the fact that we have to get a good positive result in the first game. We can't get the two mm. one loss, like I obviously said about the head to head. You know, and um, you know, I, I said to Ahmad, I said they don't have Ronaldo anymore. Um, Ronaldo can't bail them out anymore. But it'll yeah. be typical that it'll then be a bloody Jude Bellingham. <laughs> that would be yeah. typical. But yeah, Jude it's gonna be an interesting yeah. game. It's gonna be an interesting game. Um, I'm sure that Jude's gonna score um and go into our fans and do his fucking celebration because <laughs> it just it's gonna be typical. And I'm gonna have all the um Dortmund Muppets talking shit. 
um, about their boy coming and doing this and doing that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I will get into the comments in a minute. Um, who, if I had to force you to give your uh, your opinion on who's going to win, go ahead. Like if I had to, force yeah. You. I, um, unfortunately for you, like I do think Real Madrid, I think it's just yeah, it's Real Madrid's to win now. Yeah. It's it's the it's their competition. They've like, beaten the hardest team that, well, the favourites to win the Champions League. Obviously, we've seen that. I didn't obviously. I, I did say Real Madrid would go through, and I said Bayern would go through as well. But I didn't expect the likes of Dortmund going through, PSG yeah. going through. Yeah. So yeah. it is football; anything can happen. But I think this is Real Madrid territory now. Yeah, like yeah. their semi-final. It's rare they go out, and if they go in the final, we looked the other day. They ever lost a they final lost since the eighties. Or, and no, they've never lost the Champions League final. Yeah, when it's called, yeah, when it's called the, the, the Champions NFL. League, they've not actually lost a final. So it's it's going to be it's going to be it, it, they they're going to want it. Yeah, and obviously it's going to be typical. Like I, I can I can say this on um, either side, and we'll talk about Tuchel in a minute because obviously that's the title. But like it's going to be typical in the fact that Jude Bellingham going to win his first Champions League. In England, in his country, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty Bumby sure that there'll probably be some Brummy fans coming there, you know, if he does get <laughs> it, you know, what I mean, like they're, they're gonna like that's their boy, so um, you know, I can see that, but the problem is, I can also see it in the fact that if Borussia Dortmund somehow get past PSG, it'll be Dortmund versus Bayern again in the same stadium, mm-hmm. um, you know, Harry Kane curse as people like to say, Eric Dyer, you know what I mean? It'd be typical that they leave Tottenham and go and win the Champions League with Bayern. Um, for me, I personally think um, if we win nothing, I want Tuchel out. If we win everything, we want. I want Tuchel out. I want Tuchel out either way. <laughs> obviously, we've lost the league, which we'll talk about. Um, obviously, because I know you want to talk about Stanisic, you fucking ass white. <laughs> um, but um, in the fact that I still think Harry Kane has had a successful season, he's beaten his um, oh yeah, uh, yeah GA stats doubt. this season. He's, mm-hmm. he's yeah, oh yeah, oh so, yeah. I, it was no doubt that he was always going to score goals. I for Tottenham score goals, but it was always the, getting over the line. That's the that was the problem with Arsenal. Can they get over the the problem's been getting over the line? Basically, because like ball jobs. Kane, he's he's had he's had plenty of times. He's had the chance to win a a, a Champions League. He's had the chance to win Euros, World Cups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, get Tottenham to to win the league when Leicester won it, yeah, but never got over it. So far this season, you haven't got the league. You didn't get the the Pokal, and you're now in the semi final against Real Madrid. Yeah, the yeah. one team you probably don't want to go against because yeah. it's Real Madrid. And I think like I know you're like twelve to eleven, but in recent times it's been more Real Madrid. Against yeah, yeah, you, yeah, like yeah. then the other way around. So obviously, like I said, no Ronaldo, but it'd be typical of Jude Bellingham doing it against um, Bayern for like Dortmund and all that. And he'll probably want Dortmund to go through as well into the final. Yeah. So that'll yeah. be interesting if it does. Obviously, yeah. if it if it all does happen, football, football. And they, as I as I saw today against Coventry, football, football, they lost it. Yeah, no, 100%. And obviously, I was saying that I, I'm going to have to sell him one of my hands, take a leg off to get <laughs> if we do get through. But um, mm-hmm. let's go through a couple of the comments before we talk about two calls. You're going to bring Stanisic up because you're an asshole. Um, Nacho is a, uh, is a good centre-back, though. He is a good centre-back, but is he going to be able to hold Harry Kane? That, that's the thing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Rudiger, I think, can. Uh, I think Rudiger and Edo Militao can. Is he going to be able to do it? Maybe I'm going to eat my words. I don't know. I don't watch Real Madrid in and out, obviously. Um, big up to YouTube. So hopefully you're doing well, mate. Uh, I think it's more about Kane unleashing our wingers than the other way uh, around for us to win. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely I can definitely see uh, your opinion on that. Um, yeah, no, I get where you're coming from, 100%. Um, and we definitely need our wingers to be on it. If 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 um Muziala is going to play at the ten, Muziala is going to play at the wing. Whatever, whoever plays on the wings needs to mm. perform without a doubt. Um, he's playing at ten. I'm guessing you're meaning um Jude Bellingham. 
Yes. Yeah. Well, ten yeah. for is because I know they've been playing dog, but he's been full. Yeah, false nine. Yeah. Um. What are we saying? Uh. Would Would you have Coman or Nabry back? I'm not too sure to be honest with you. I, I generally am not too sure on that one. Um. I'm not gonna lie. I generally don't know. Uh, I think Madrid's midfield will be too much for you. Mm -hmm. And I can see that, yes, 100%. You know, obviously Taylor said that just a minute ago. I do see, I think the other, I think this the the levels between Real Madrid and Bayern. I think you you lot can't afford to be average compared to Real Madrid. If like, as you saw, Vinny was average, but he still got an assist. Benning was average, still got a goal. Like that's you lot can't be average, but because otherwise you're just not gonna uh, do yeah. anything. I think that's, I think that's the problem. You have to be a if you can a game it, then it's anyone's anyone's game to win. But the only way to if you're gonna be average, they have to be absolutely shocking, which is yeah. a rare rare thing that Real Madrid does. Yeah, especially like- this season. In the sense of, obviously, we've got to be perfect to them, you know, being half-assed. You know, like, mm-hmm. if they're perfect, we we got to be perfect to stop them, which I still yeah, don't think exactly. is going to happen. But Eric Dara at back. But, um, mm. yeah, no, fair, I, get, I can see where you're coming from 100%. Um, to be honest, I see the comments in there about Ballon d'Or. Um, to be honest with you, I generally could not give a flying fuck about the Ballon d'Or anymore. And this is just my personal opinion because Bayern Munich mm-hmm. players have been robbed so many times. Um, Haaland got robbed last year. Obviously, he's not a Bayern player, but he got robbed last year um, from Messi. Ronaldo robbed Ribéry when he won everything. Um, you know, Lewandowski didn't get either of his. Um, so, yeah, to be honest with you, Harry Kane should be up for it. 110% should be up for it, um, even if he doesn't win anything. It's going to be depending on if, uh, he does anything for England in the Euros, but at the same time, like it's going to be Jude Starboy. You've got the English bias in there, as it already is the overhyped English bullshit. Then you've got the Real Madrid hype and the Real Madrid PR in that. Real Madrid are probably going to win their league, like you said. They're they're however many points clear. They're probably going to win the Champions League, so he's going to win it. But at the same mm-hmm. time, like I generally, the way I see it now is that the Ballon d'Or is a golden ball of shit opinion. That's generally all I think it is. And mm-hmm. it wouldn't surprise me if Messi, if, if Bellingham wins everything and helps England to the semis or even the final, like he should win it, fair enough. But he probably still won't win it. I don't think until Messi Messi retires. I was going to say Ronaldo, mm-hmm. but Ronaldo hasn't been in it for a while now. But until Messi retires, I still think he's going to be up for it. I can see him getting third. Um, but yeah. <laughs> You know. And I think the comments forget also of Mbappe because Mbappe is actually set to be higher rank than Kane to win it this season, uh, or when it when it comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. his is the amount of goals he's got um, um, for PSG. Yeah, this about as well, yeah. No, he's having a fantastic season. I'm not going to disagree mm. with you, but I actually think as well you you make a great point because it's obviously. F- um, I don't know how to say it. It's not French football. It's France football that decides it anyway. So that would be typical exactly. you know, for him. So, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I agree. I don't expect any Bayern player to win it um, unless we go ridiculous, like like a Benzema where you win everything that you can win and you're <laughs> literally, it's impossible to rob it from him. Um, but, you know, I could say... Messi, that, Messi finds a way, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree with you without a doubt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I would go Nabry and Muller for our wings versus Real Madrid. So Muller's going to play on the right. So you're going to have, so what, Muller will be going against whoever their left back is, Mendy? M- or Mendy or Camavinga. I don't know. That's the, It's going to be interesting to see. Um, I think you need pace. I think you mm. really need pace. Yeah. And Nab- Nabry ain't. The fastest either. I guess if he goes against Carver Howe, Carver is not the quickest, so yeah, might be fine. But I think you need pace on both wings yeah. um, to try and bully him, and then basically like cutting inside or get through and just whack the ball through the middle and see if Ken can like get on the end of it or something. Yeah, uh, Verts deserves it if he wins the Pokal. Europa League, Bundesliga, and the Euros. Well, yeah, they buy Leverkusen. He he should be up for it, but he won't win it because there's no PR. 
there's no you know like people still aren't giving Verts his flowers now of what he's doing mm. well while you uh, you've mentioned that the croc where they'll go into the fact that Bayer Leverkusen that ass wipes got fucking draw today uh, <laughs> and of course it had to be Stanisic I don't hate Stanisic by the way um, I think he's a great player. I think it's Thomas Tuchel's fault why he's even there in the first place. But it's just typical that he goes and gets the goal, but sets him up for it. Um, and they stop Dortmund from getting the win. It's it's just totally, totally typical. Um, Last minute as well. They've yeah, done that. They've else? done it against West Ham. West Ham. They was they were still through, but they were yeah. like, hold on, I don't want, I don't want to lose. Hold on a second. Yeah. 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 It's it's just. To be honest with you, there's not really much to say uh, anymore. I, I, I'm expecting them to win. I uh, wanted Liverpool to go through. Obviously, they fucking fought with the idiots. So, um, <laughs> That's a ball, I, I see, I see um, by Leverkusen winning absolutely everything that they're in. Uh, and to be honest, they should. Uh, and I do agree with you, though, to crock in the fact that if they win the Euros, he should go up for it. But Again, it's, it's the Real Madrid PR. You, you've got to go against that Real Madrid PR and get ready for it because as soon as Mbappe goes there, if he has a great season, he wins Champions Leagues and all of this, he's going to win it over and over and over and over again. It's going to stop someone like Haaland to go to Barca or something. Um, to, um, you know, it's, it, it'd just be typical. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be a weird one. Um, if Bayern wins the UCL and if Muziala has a good Euros and scores the winner, hopefully he does. No, no, no answer. He's no, he doesn't. He doesn't get close, unfortunately. The only one that's going to win the Ballon d'Or, if it's going to come from Bayern Munich or be up for the Ballon d'Or, it's going to be Harry Kane because of mm. what he's doing. You've got the English tax on, on it and the English bias on it. Mm. Uh, and then, you know, if we would have won, I could see it if we would have won everything. I could see Harry Kane going out for it, but I just think that the fact that Jude is what he is and the fact he's English and the Real Madrid PR and all of that bullshit, I, I, I generally think it's so hard to, to go against him, but oh well, it is what it is. How can you want Liverpool to go through? Don't you enjoy a Liverpool humbling? No, I, 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 I don't mind Liverpool losing, but you've got to see from my perspective, I don't want any German team to prosper because if they're prospering and they're doing good, that means they're going against Bayern Munich, and I want Bayern Munich to be on. Does yeah, I enjoyed the humbling because they <laughs> got the, well. It's basically I think it's, a humbling. it's a bottle job. They bottled oh, it. Oh really? Like, three nil yeah. at home, like three nil mm. away. Fair enough. Mm, three nil at home. home. Exactly. That's a joke. And like, as 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 what everyone keeps clocking on, all started when they lost to United in the FA Cup. Because they knocked him out of something, they drew to United in the Premier yeah. League, and this is brilliant. And as bad as we've been, I'm glad I've knocked Liverpool off their pedestal of getting that quadru quadruple that they mm. so so wanted. Now you got a Carabao Cup, and you could end up at going third. And who did that last season? United. Mm -hmm. And it, the thing is, with what you're saying, and obviously it started with um, you guys, I think the Arsenal humbling has started from us, um, us getting that draw. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And then yeah. They yeah. just faulted as well. Yeah. Um, we will talk about managers, don't worry. We will talk about managers. I, I want to talk about that in a minute. Um, mm. I just want to keep talking about uh, other things quickly. Um, now, <laughs> we love Leverkusen to win. It will be good for the Bundesliga. I know where you're coming from, but at the same time, no. Does he support Leverkusen now? I thought he was a Dortmund. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably got a Leverkusen shirt on. No. Yeah, um, he's got Verts. He's got Verts shirt. No, I, I, I get it. And I, I think there's going to be a show coming up I, soon. Where I do hear I, that. I hear that with like England. Like, we, we want like people in it. No, I don't. Go away. If, say, like when Leicester was in the Champions League, I was like, yeah, go on then. Leicester can win it. I'd love that. Don't want to see Arsenal win it. They've never won There's it. No affiliation C there, City yeah. jog right on. Liverpool jog right on. Like, and who who are Newcastle? I mean, kind of no because it's Newcastle and they they just pipe up for no reason because they got fourth. That that that's literally it. But so it's, it's understandable. But when it becomes main rivals and they're Basically, obviously, I don't know. I'm not a Bayern fan, so my rivalry with Leverkusen. I know your rivalry is dormant, 
your main ones. You don't want Will Dortmund to win anything. Um, but also, if you're a Bayern fan, you probably don't want Leverkusen to win because they've just knocked you off winning your 12th league in a row. Mm-hmm. And they might go unbeaten and win every in trophy every- possible. Yeah. Like, there's unbeaten in one thing. Like, yeah. They weren't unbeaten in the Europa League or the DFB Pokal. That's fair mm. enough. But, like, yeah. in, in everything. Every- yeah. It's a and joke. if there's Arsenal fans, you're invincible, yeah? Leverkusen's yeah. top, oh, tops it. Even though the Leverkusen team was actually not better than Arsenal's team at the time, I think Arsenal's team would win if it was head to head. That team is disgusting. But. Oh, they play for draws and they actually they they got knocked out by like Chelsea in the FA Cup, so on and so forth. If Leverkusen go on beating everything and they've played like they've been losing and they've gone to the bitter end to try and make sure they don't lose. It's it's, it's much better than Arsenal's Invincibles by far. I think. The only thing that would obviously come into what you've just said, and I got it with you, is the whole, the whole, but it's the Premier League and all that bullshit. Um, oh, no, no. you got to think, Leverkusen not won it, not won the Bundesliga. Yeah. Bayern have been, have won it for the last 11 years in a yeah. row. Yeah. Um, I don't think Leverkusen have won a European trophy, or if they have, it was a very fucking long time ago. Well, they've never won the Bundesliga, by the way. Well, yeah, well, they've never won a Bundesliga. Never. They may have never won a European Cup, and I don't know when the last time they've won the Pokal. The, the Pokal so you got, yeah, yeah you got to think winning three trophies, doing a treble. Obviously, it's not the treble, but they've, they've got treble, a yeah. treble, a treble, yeah, undefeated. Completely, joke. completely tops what Arsenal's done. Completely, because they didn't win the Champions League. They bowled it. They didn't win the FA Cup. They, they just won the Premier League. And they made it smaller, and made it a little bit golden. Oh come on! Oh, this is twelve draws. This is. Yeah, That's that, it. that that the Premier League generally fucked themselves over in that sense. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, it's. <clears throat> It's it's stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't knock us off the Mets girl. We did that to ourselves. Or in Liam's eyes, Tuchel. Yeah, no, Tuchel. Tuchel did everything. He's ruined the club. Um, but at the same time, we can blame Tuchel all we want. We can talk about <clears throat> in a minute going to United. But it's not. You can't just blame him a hundred and ten percent because the board have fucked it up. They brought Sadio Mane in to become Lewandowski's replacement at striker. They then sacked one of the young managers who was undefeated in the Champions League, a couple of points off of the um, uh, league, and we were still in the cup. They sacked him for Tuchel. Tuchel comes in, loses the Champions League, which is fair enough because of the, the City game, loses the cup, and nearly loses us the league. Like it, You have to blame him in a sense, but at the same time, it's the board. And if we keep Thomas Tuchel... This channel is going for every single fucking board member that is because Thomas Tuchel is an absolute clown. Um, and we'll get into it. Um, and uh, I'm going to put it on the screen. Like, it, it's a fucking joke. I see a load <coughs> of fans saying, we need to keep Tuchel, we need to keep Tuchel. No, we don't. Trust me, no, we don't. Um, this guy is an absolute donkey. Um, and uh, we're going to get Taylor's opinion on it. I want to share the screen. Um, obviously, Thomas Tuchel is <coughs> being um going to Manchester United. Um, so I'll read it and then we'll get Taylor's opinion on it. So this is what's being put out there. So Bayern bosses still believe parting ways with Thomas Tuchel in the summer was the right decision. Okay, straight away, fair enough. Uh, Tuchel has had the first contact with Manchester United. Uh, new United owner Jim uh, Richtklaff, I'll never say his name right, uh, is a big fan of Tuchel and inquired to the coach with a view uh, to a potential move in the summer. Should Eric Ten Hag, Stone Cold Steve Austin, be dismissed? Tuchel, however, is um, currently not working uh, on his future. Blah, 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 blah. He wants to fully focus on the rest of the season by Bayern. I wish he would have fully focused on Bayern in general, you absolute fucking donkey. Let's continue. Um... So, yeah, what is your opinion, Taylor, on Thomas Tuchel becoming the manager of Manchester? <clears throat> um, God knows. God knows. But there is always a but 
Um, it could be worse. There is the likes of Southgate. Yes. There is the likes of Graham Potter. Yeah. Um, if it, got, it like, keeps getting worse, he could be. He could end up being better than Ten Hag. So yeah. <laughs> It's basically what it is. Is it's putting us? It's giving us a manager that's going to keep us going straight and not going up. Like, like not of any sort of in, like incline. It's just going to be straight, and yep. like with that team, it's probably going to be like every season is going to be like fourth bloody place. It's going to be the new Arsenal of like four, 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 fourth made to get a few finals or whatever, probably won't win nothing. Where Ten Hag, I know obviously it's it's definitely it's definitely been up and down, but third final in two years is definitely up and down. Obviously performance as you can see. Um but if you get Southgate, you're going right you're going that's rock bottom. That mm. is literally rock bottom. Um but uh, it the job's too big for him. So it would just be rock bottom. You saw it at Chelsea, absolute rock. But and Chelsea is not as big as United. You know, it, it would kill him. It would like he wouldn't be able to handle it at all. Be rock bottom. Um, there's the likes of Deserby, but I'm I'm not sure about Deserby. In all honesty, yeah, um, I'm, Liverpool I'm, can have him for all I care. I'm um, the same with Deserby coming to Bayern. <clears throat> I agree. I don't think he's. I don't think he's the. I think. I think he's better than Graham Potter. <clears throat> But I also think he's not a top club manager in the sense mm-hmm. of I've said this about um Hornis, um uh the Stuttgart manager. He's related to Yuri Hornis, who, who is in our board. Um I, I think it's too it's too big for him right now. I think he needs to he needs to get better and better and better. <clears> you know, we've seen it so many times when a when a manager goes to a big club, they sink, you know. Um and there's there's levels to this game, you know what I mean? There generally is. Exactly. Uh, with Tuchel going to United though quickly, uh, and I know you were going to say something. Sorry for interrupting. No. Um, with him going there, uh, it, I'm in this weird mind. Right, I want him out. Obviously, I never wanted him. Blah blah blah. Everybody knows it. It's like a boring old story now. With listening to Liam say that, but at the same time, I could actually see him doing something for United if he if you give him money. He seems to like the Premier League. That's this is the problem. If you give, if you were to give him the money, and we know United have got money, you know there ain't if buts and maybe's mm-hmm. about you ridiculous money with all of the managers that you have. <clears throat> if you give him the money, do, can you see him doing something? Like, I he's think he's he's not he's not there to he, he's not going to be there. He's not going to win you a trophy. <clears throat> you know what mm-hmm. I mean? I don't even know if he's going to win you a league trophy, but he might win you like. But that that's the yeah. thing. That's the that's the straight line where we've won a Carabao Cup. If we win the FA Cup this season and then bring him in, well you, you can win it again. That's still a straight line. Yeah. Like we've got you've got to be at some point challenging for the title. Like there's there's no two ways about it. You've all like you've always got to be aiming to be challenging for the title. That is the main mm. thing. Like, yeah. even if, say, he comes in next season, gets us Champions League of football, then the season other wins us Champions League, but still nothing in the league. I still want us to be chance for it. As much as Champions League is the best, you be we still want, yeah. yeah, you still want your league. The league. Like, it's, we, that's our, that's our most, like, we've, we've got the most Premier Leagues. City are slowly catching us up like, on it. They're on seven. They're going to be on eight, most likely at the end of the season. Yeah, they're and they would break that record four in a row. Well. Yeah. yeah. Um. So if you're not going to go for the league, it it's pointless. Yeah. Um. But you see, as cup manager, look what he's done for your cup. He lost to a third division team. But that's like I thought. Need losing to commentary is bad. Yours is technically worse. Yeah, oh, 100%. Like, oh, like, 110%, yes. But obviously, because it's it's media, it's not out there. And to be honest, commentary is obviously... They, they, they had more fans than City did. That's, a, that's saying something. 
as people will say, oh, City do a fan. They couldn't sell out their half of Wembley. <clears throat> and then Coventry sold out all of their spots mm. in Wembley. And they stayed, even after the match, they stayed there and waving clapping the flags, the clapping yeah. for the fans. You know the fans were gone. <laughs> you know the fans were, fuck this, I'm not staying there. That was horrendous. Think- and then you've and then you've got City yeah. scraping it past Chelsea. And Chelsea on- should have been. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with you. On, on <clears> two, <throat> obviously, he, he's done the, he's done it in the Premier League in the sense that he has had success with a Premier League club. Um, mm. uh, obviously, the whole, the whole bringing him in, blah blah blah. The, that situation just messed up in general because we got rid of a manager in the same time, brought a manager in exactly the same time. With United, though, and I do have to um, bring this comment into it. Number one, how reliable is this source? Well, it's from Kicker. Um, they are a big, big um, outlet in Germany. So the fact that it's coming from Germany is an interesting one. I'm not really too sure at the time of recording this. if, And I can check in a second if anybody else has spoken about it. Uh, I will check Fabrizio as soon as I ask the question I'm about to ask. Hmm. I'm not sure Fabrizio has. But it has, like... Well, obviously, yeah. I mentioned it to you. Yeah, yeah, earlier, you know, but yeah. all of all of my United sources were all all on it. So I think it's more not more of like this. Obviously, the German sources where you got there. I think I think it's a big thing. I think everyone knows that yeah. it's a thing. Um, to us, I don't think it's something Fabrizio really talks about. Like, oh, yeah. United spoke to a manager. Oh, big one. We've probably spoken to half the managers in the world. Half the managers, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so, so to to pose this question to you though, obviously Bayern Munich are in this situation right now where we wanted Xabi Alonso, can't get him he's staying. We wanted Julian Nagelsmann, can't get him he's staying. There's other managers out there, and I think United are in this poise as well. Where and it's where I get into this question. <clears throat> I want Tuchel. It's obviously what he's saying, not me, obviously. Mm-hmm. I want Tuchel personally. I think he's the best uh, manager on the market. And this is what I'm going to ask you. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that point? I think it's, it's just thinking of who is actually out there. Because yeah. uh, obviously, the great know. managers are slowly not... Obviously, obviously, Klopp would never come to United anyway. Yeah, And obviously, he's apparently not going to... He's taking a year off. Yeah. You got Zidane. There's still ifs on Zidane. He free period the Champions League. Fair enough. He already had the team to basically do it. Too cool. He has to come to United. It's a rebuild. It is a rebuild. It's you need a manager that knows how to build. You need someone like a Klopp. Klopp rebuild it. Pep didn't. Pep just bought on top of what he already had. He already had Aguero. He already had um, David Silva. He already had Yaya Torre. He already already had all these players, and he just put on top. It's just basically replacing what greatness he already had. He had Aguero. We got Haaland. We had David Silva. Got Kevin De Bruyne. Like they've been able to replace. They've not built. They've just replaced. United need real building. We need. We need players in every position, and some positions we need three, four. We've got no defenders this season now. They're all injured. <clears throat> Maguire's might be a little injury. He might be back. But at this point in time, we have no centre-backs. So we need like three, four centre-backs in the summer yeah. because we're going to lose Varane. He, he's gone on the free. We're going to lose Martial. He'll be going on a free. We're most likely sending Sancho. We're most likely selling Casemiro. There's a chance McTominay goes. There's a chance Rashford goes. You're thinking, you're thinking like seven, uh, the whole Greenwood situation, he might be gone. You're thinking seven, eight players might be gone in the space in the summer. And you've got to replace them and then get the squad depth that we need. That's the problem. It's, it's, it's that type of manager. And obviously, what I was going to say earlier is about Zidane. Zidane is apparently eyeing up. He prefers United over Bayern. But me and you even said this. I don't think he goes there either. He wants the France job. Yeah. 
So no one really knows the whole Zidane thing. Obviously, Zidane's an absolute legend. I'd love him. Like he's, I think he's brilliant. But he's not a re- rebuilder. And that's the problem. I don't think too cool. <clears throat> As a rebuilder, he's probably... He could be our, he could probably be our best chance, in all honesty, out of who's going to be available. <clears throat> unless is, Yeah. Unless <laughs> unless we go to like Ancelotti and be like, we'll pay you a lot. <laughs> like he's the only one I could really think yeah. to get. Think, but even then think, Ancelotti's an e. I think the the thing with it as well. Obviously, with this comment, with the, the post that's on the screen and everything, I think the problem with it is Thomas Tuchel is getting sacked. He has been sacked. The mutual consent of I'm leaving, you're going, blah, blah, blah. Where is he that next going to go? You know, Tottenham don't need a manager. Liverpool do, but they won't touch him. I don't see that happening. Hmm. City don't. Arsenal don't. Um, like, I think if he wants, and he's always talked about the Premier League, if he wants a Premier League move, I see um, him going to United. I yeah, mean, I think I, that is. I think it's hilarious it. the fact that he's going there because I think he's I think he's useless. But mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. the same time, I can then see us swapping the managers, which I definitely don't want. Um, mm-hmm. So again, I, pause, I had to I had to force you to give your your answer on Rodri, but not really. But you know what I mean. Um, if I was to. Um, force you to give an answer on Thomas Tuchel if Ten Hag is to be sacked or leave or whatever. What are you saying? <laughs> and obviously, it's I, come out straight I, now. It's come out I, right now. Yeah, like I'd say to... I'd say no. In a sense, I think we could potentially get better, but <clears throat> if there's the other talks that we've heard, then yes, like. Obviously, you can tell he's not a he's not a shit manager because he's won Champions Leagues. He's won you he, oh, well, Musiala won you the league, but he he's got that in his CV. It's the it's the whole cup manager thing. Like I said, yeah, it's nice winning silverware, but he won the league. At some point, City won't have Pep. Liverpool about to lose Klopp. The chance is nearly there to spin uh, everything around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah to yeah. take advantage of it, because who is City going to get? Like I said, these pedigree of like great elite managers are really not they're there. Dying down. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. really dying down. Which, to us, wouldn't surprise me if City gets a down. You'll probably have three <laughs> p in the Champions League with them. Um. But there's 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 no one there anymore, really. Obviously, it's nice to see someone like Shabby Alonso come out doing good. Whether he can keep doing it is the is the question. There's been a lot of teams over the years or managers that have had fantastic first season or main season, then, then yeah. crumble. It's happened a lot. So it's like the time to to start changing everything is now. Is now, yeah. Because these other teams are going to go downhill, and there is a a time. There's a date set for the trial for Man City. No one knows when exactly when it is because they won't say. But yeah. there's a, the the dates there, and they bloody they will get charged. I don't care. <laughs> I'll make sure. I'll make sure they get charged. They will get charged. They will be bloody relegated, and hopefully stripped of every single title they've had. Um. So the time is now because if Arsenal keep getting better, then we're we're just mm. it's just another team that we're going to struggle to go against. But Arsenal are there to be taken as well at this current point. So we need someone to turn everything around now and build and build us. And we're, with like staff and all that, we've we've got a new technical director come in from a guy from Southampton. He used to be at City as well. Went from City to Southampton to now United. We took City CEO. We were about to say Dan Ashworth from Newcastle, who was at Brighton, who did who's done great jobs at both Brighton and Newcastle. Obviously, Newcastle being very stubborn at the moment because they're butt hurt about it. But we're bringing in all these new people, top quality staff members, 
and directors and so on and so forth, um, getting rid of directors who we've had for the past 10 years or whatever, basically since Fer- uh, Fergie's been gone. And obviously they've done absolutely nothing since then. So the turnaround is happening staff-wise and all that. Just need the ma- the right manager to turn it around when it comes to players and how we play against these other teams. So, and if you don't do it now, it's, ne- it's never going to happen. Yeah. If it don't happen now. So there we go, people. There is Taylor's opinion on Tuchel. Um, yeah. There, there's that. I do want to talk about managers, though, because obviously you guys are obviously going for a manager. Um, <coughs> It looks like Ten Hag probably won't be there for much longer. Um, especially if you're losing to Convert and Tree. Obviously, you didn't, but yeah. Mm. Um, Bayern Munich obviously need a manager. Uh, I actually need to get rid of this. Hold up a second. Uh, Bayern Munich, obviously, let me just remove it. Um, we, we, we're looking for a manager also. But there are various managers that are being spoken about. I mean, I'll add this back to the screen. Um, yeah, various managers. You know, speaking about, we can just scroll past for some of this stuff. Um, Unai Emery being one of them. Now, I think Emery, I think he's a class <clears> manager. <throat> um, when I was at, when I was asked before, I said no. Um, you know, getting him. But at the same time, when you actually look at what he's done for Villarreal, what he's done for Villa, he is actually a. You know, and, and again, to poise the question on, obviously, uh, you know, of uh, what the, the lad said earlier, uh, of being the fact that Thomas Tuchel seems to, for United, being the best guy out there. I think, you know, we're not getting Julian Oxman. We're not getting Zidane. I don't see that happening. Um, mm. We're obviously not getting um, Xabi Alonso. Like, <clears throat> Flick is obviously still there, and there is rumours of Flick um, being available for the job. The guy's been available since he was sacked from the Germany job. Like we know this. Um, I don't think Bayern higher ups are going to go anywhere near him. But at the same time, like, what do you, as a um, outsider in the Bayern, as a Bayern fan, what do you think? Do you think he would work? Because I think he's a cup <coughs> manager. That's, the only, that's my own. Yeah, worry about. That's, that's what I was going to say. He's um, he's as he's clearly shown, he's been a cup manager for. A, yeah, fair enough. He's won Europa League so many bloody times. Villarreal, yeah. um, Sevilla. He could win the Conference League with Aston Villa. But same with the league thing. Uh, you, you got you can't just be these 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 tro- like obviously like I said never never take it away European competition. Apart I, I, apart from Conference League, that's taking the piss now. Like we get taken to make out of Europa League, let alone Conference League. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's nice we're in Euro- European competition, but if you're not getting over the line in the league, then it, I just it's it's a straight line. It's not it's not getting better because you're not the best team because you're not winning your own bloody league. You need to win. You have to win your own league to like consider yourself one of the best teams. Yeah, obviously, Champions League is like the best versus the best. But as we 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 spoke about this example earlier, Wigan won the FA Cup and bloody got relegated. Yes, obviously, it's like oh, fair enough, they got that, but they got relegated, and I don't think they've been up since. I think they've just been all downhill. So there's so much for winning the cup, but then. If you're getting relegated, it's it's not it's not good. Well, financially, you got people got to think about financial side of everything. If you don't get Champions League, you lose a lot of money. If you don't get Europa League, you lose another money. Obviously, the further down you are, the less money you get. But you're always aiming for Champions League. Obviously, people are like, oh, I need top four. Top four is very crucial in the line of financial gain and pull on players. So, obviously, with like Villarreal and Sevilla, he he won't he won't he won't get in Champions League. Well, he's only getting Champions League because he was winning the Europa League. But outside of winning Europa League, he's not getting in the Champions League through the league with either of uh, with either of them. 
So it's like yeah. you need, <clears throat> especially someone like United. United with their a main with their the majority owners are about money, and obviously Ratcliffe is he hasn't got the whole he hasn't got the whole thing. He said it's a six year plan. So he's going to be needing United to get Champions League football because the the money benefits is is in the hundreds of millions. I think people forget about that. Like you get a lot of money going into the Champions League, mm. and the financial benefit and the player benefit of going into the Champions League is very significant. So, as fair enough on Emery, he's done very well at Aston Villa. They were nearly getting relegated when they had Steven Gerrard. And now he's he could be getting Champions League football next season and could win the Conference League as well. But if you're just going to constantly do that, then in the end, it's not, it's not a game. You're not getting anything. You're just going in a straight line. You're doing what Arsenal used to always do, is get a fourth at draw win a trophy. And obviously now they've they're slow they're on the they're on the you know on the up in the sense of they are challenging for title. They may have still not won a trophy since their first FA Cup with Arteta in during COVID. But you can see there's a sort of up, but they're not getting over the line, which they could lose. Like Arteta may may go. At some point, well, ever I don't think I can't see him getting sacked. I can't see him, I can't see Cronky be doing something like that. But Arsenal fans want him gone after that uh, performance against Bayern, mm. which oh, beautiful. L- I love seeing Moni, Moni Arsenal fans because they're the most delusional fans in world football, and it drives me up the wall with the things they come up with. With oh, Saka's the world class. Well. A limping after every bad performance doesn't show doesn't doesn't show world class in my eyes. But yeah, Emery's I'd say the same with Tuchel, cup manager. Yeah, pointless going for a cup manager. Like you want cup managers if you're a Crystal Palace, you're a, a Stuttgart, sort of that that sort of level. A Villarreal. That's that's who wants cup managers. Not not the best. Yeah. So. No, no, I get you. I know where you're coming from, and that's that. That's I agree in the fact that, like, you know, obviously we're talking about about Bayer Leverkusen now, and in good terms, in the fact that they're winning leagues and shit like that. But like, if he was to go there and win them the Europa League, it's like. They win the league or, or West Ham. You know when West Ham won their first European trophy and whatever, mm-hmm. like that was amazing. Obviously, yeah. he didn't do it, but in general, like and what he did with Villarreal and Sevilla, brilliant. I do wonder if one day he will get the step up to a massive club. Like, don't get it twisted. Villa are a fucking massive club. They got European credit, Cre- mm. credibility. Can speak, mm-hmm. but like they're not. They haven't been that for a ridiculous amount of time. Um, so yeah, no, I agree. I agree with you, and I know where you're coming mm-hmm. from. I don't know who Bayern are going to get. I, I really, really don't. What the last thing though? Last thing I wanted to get your opinion on, because um, I know we've been going over a little bit. Um, but um, Bayern Munich kit. Now I don't know if you've seen it. I'm going to put this out as a video. The bar- brand new Bayern Munich kit was leaked. I've made the video on it, but now there's like way more photos and that i want to get your opinion on it and the chat you can have your opinion on it as well and i'll obviously give you mine mm. um i love it i think it's be- beautiful i'll put it on the screen now so this is kim and jay wearing somewhat of a kit and obviously this is like fifa bullshit um but yeah this 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 is somewhat of the kit now i'll scroll up so you can actually see an actual image of the kit uh so this is leroy sane wearing said kit um obviously it's a bit of a blurry photo you can't you can't um necessarily see fully but you can see basically what it is um i don't know why this was leaked but it was leaked um i think it's beautiful i'm a Bayern fan of course i think it's beautiful again mm-hmm. this just a blurry ass photo of him he's obviously they're showing him it and you know he's obviously gone to show someone and they've taken a photo of him mm-hmm. um of course i'm going to be buying it from from the kit we've we 
just had this season, which is a fucking oh yeah, it's a definite expensive. upgrade, definite. Yeah, I um, think my only criticism of it is it seems too red. Okay, and obviously you went from you're normally like red and white, and you went from white red, <laughs> and now you're just full on red with obviously darker red, but like I think the red. lack of white. I think it's kind of the issue for me, but other than that, yeah, it does look like a very nice kit. Um, but I think, it, yeah, it's just I think there's just too much red in it. Yeah, and no, no, it, it doesn't like when I obviously you look at the buying badge is red, white, blue, and you're just showing red. Like I think it's not fully showing what but the by Munich is. Yeah, in yeah, that yeah. sort of sense. But other than other than that, yeah, it is a nice kit. I know United had theirs late because of well, it's a spon- It's more of the um, the sponsorship at the front. It's uh, changed. Um, yeah, I to be honest, I don't like it. This this is the so from what's been <clears throat> said here. This is obviously elite, but this is the from what it will look like in Pro Evolution Soccer. Obviously, we um, are still sponsored by them and everything. Um, if we go over here, this is another. A more in depth, if you want to say, obviously, this is from footy headlines. Um, that's the, the badge, the badge, uh, the telecom, and the Adidas seem to be black. Um, I think I can definitely see where you're coming from in the fact that they probably should have gone with a white with white sleeves and that it would just make it pop more. Um, mm. and I, I, I definitely get that. Um, from what's being said, I don't know who this is, I think I'm guessing it's just a leaked image, but. I, I like it. I think it's beautiful. Generally, I do. And obviously, this is a cutout of Leroy Sane when he was um, obviously wearing it. Um, I know a lot of people were complaining in the fact that we could have had... Uh, let me get a better photo of it before I say what I'm about to say. Um, like this one. Mm-hmm. We could have had the yellow, where we obviously had the yellow before. Uh, was it yellow or like an orangey uh, or white? Um, I love it. I think it's amazing. Um, I buy every bloody buying kit anyway. Um <laughs> That's definitely not the kit. Let me just keep scrolling. I don't think I'm going to find it. Um, yeah, here we go. So, like, the white mm. here yeah. would make it pop. Obviously, that doesn't even look like the actual kit, to be quite honest. Mm. But like, the white would make it pop. Um, yeah. But, yeah, either way, uh, I, I personally like it. This is a image of Jamal Maziala uh, in a rumored version of it. Um, I think it's beautiful, personally. But mm. I, I can see where people are coming from, most definitely. Um is there anything else you want to speak about? We've done nearly an hour and a half. What we normally do an hour. Um, anything else to speak about? I mean, just oh, I hope we win the FA Cup. Hopefully, stop City doing a double at least because they definitely win the Premier League. They ain't bottling. I don't think they're bottling that. Um, like Liverpool and Arsenal. Um, just, uh, yeah. yeah hope. Obviously, there's still still a month until that uh, final happens. Um, hope we can win it. Hopefully, we don't get knocked food too far down in the table as well. We've got a couple of easy home games. We have got Sheffield United and Burnley. They're they're relegation. Like Sheffield United, basically out. Burnley have a chance, but I don't think they will get out of the relegation zone. But at home should be comfortable wins, and can't let Chelsea get above us. Especially because they've really done my head in this season. Yeah. Their, their fans, they're, they're turning into Arsenal fans. It's all because they cheated against us and got a win. Even though we won our place against them, but that's not the point. Mm. So other yeah. than that, I think, I think that's it on my end. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's really much to speak about on the buying end. Obviously, we don't know who is going to be our manager. If we wanted this person, no. We want this person, no. Unai Emery's looking um, more likely. He's he's come out in in an interview and said that he is 100% focused with Aston Villa. Of course, he's going to be. He's doing brilliantly for them. He looks like he's going to get them in the Champions League. It looks like he might win them a a, a trophy in the fact of the um, Conference League. You know, De Zerbi... For me, I think he's, I think, like we said, um, you know, cool, you're doing it for Brighton, but you're not going to go and do that for Bayern. I don't see that happening. Um, just don't see it happening, personally. 
Flick is there, but I don't see that happening. Uh, I don't see the board going for him. And then obviously both both of our clubs are looking at Zizou. Um, and again, I don't believe that's going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, big up to everyone. Thank you for, for the um, support on the chat and everyone. Uh, big up to everyone. Um, you know, amazing support, obviously, on the channel. Thank you uh, for the constant support generally. Uh, we're on, what, 1,136 subs now, uh, which is bonkers. Obviously, we'll be doing content. Uh, we'll keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, I'm sure me and Taylor will be back very soon to do another show. Hopefully, by then, um, Bayern are in better form and United are in better form, but we're probably going to be shit. Um, yeah. But, yeah, until then, my people, Mia San Mia, peace out. Have a great day. Uh, or great night, whatever time it is for you guys. And um, yeah, we're out of here. Peace. Peace.